thanks to Book Thug for putting all these strange and weird books, ideas, and people together. And, and you can count yourself in individually in the audience as you like. Um, I'll more read three, three littles. Um, one sequence that runs through this is um, by Secret Agent Squirrel. So this is from the Annals 4. She, there's something stuck under my W key. He, is it a weasel? Um, and some of you have been on road trips. Um, road trips can be very quick or very, very slow. Um, oopsie. I'm not being phoned. There's a sound I want to play. <laughs> so um, it, it rotates around a cicada. And I don't know where the speaker part comes out of there, actually. That might have been audible. Okay, so it, it's about a cicada. From cubicles to cottage country. As Grandpa used to say, when you dance with a bear, you aren't finished until the bear's finished. <laughs> Through the two-day stubble, he gives, donates really, a dog howl, out the rolled-down window to the highway's tree blurs. Yahoo! He does, as it behooves him. I wonder, are there cicadas in those cedars who look up from their singing and wonder? His basement apartment landlord sucks. Sucks, he yells, sucks, to the whipped grasses. Cicadas live as nymphs at depths up to, from 30 centimeters to 2.5 meters with strong front legs for digging he likes the word whipped. Cicadas are benign to humans under normal circumstances, do not bite or sting in any true sense, but may mistake a person's arm for a tree and attempt to feed. Guess he's nine-tenths boast by volume. It can be painful if they attempt to pierce the skin, but it's unlikely and unlikely to cause any other harm. All our energies will ebb. He may settle in transit, even sleep, lulled by the same slow S-curves around nothings. It's rare except when permitted to rest on a person for an extended time. It will be a three-more-hour drive. Girlfriends are changed more often than his sheets. Just shake out the hairpins, baby, because that's not how I want to get it in the butt. Some cicadas produce sounds up to 120 decibels can cause permanent hearing loss. Should the cicadas sing just outside the listener's ear, oh yeah, oh yeah, thrash, is this thrash? Solo sing-along on his iPod. The female is more valued for culinary uses. The interior of the male abdomen is mostly hollow, which amplifies the sound. A complex membrane, num, 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 kids, eat, eat it up or I'll eat yours too. Oh, he's a cookie monster impresario. With thin membranous portions and thickened ribs, contracting internal timbal muscles producing gum rolling beatbox, fingers drumming dashboard, he holds court on the mood of his pink pelvic tongue depressor. Ha, he has. The world stands back seat in awe, or aw. A gas station sign. Pull up here, he commands. Need a nick fix, pronto chick. Only males produce the cicada's distinctive buzzing snaps, but both sexes have tympana to detect sounds, the equivalent of ears. In the classic chirp or song or clicking we associate with his kind, the timbals buckle inwards, Relaxing the muscles causes timbals to return to their original positions, producing another <coughs> Hey, hey, how are you, baby? Capiche me? Males can disable their own tympana while calling. Out the window, skunk-scented, he tries to catch rain on his tongue. A number of species also have a courtship song, 
often quieter after a female is drawn in. And last is a love poem. Plinking the rib key of my, the doki to my oki. The particulars of our rituals of the penguin flappy dance in the lake sparkle. You're the kalimba of algae mending themselves from sootier slots of wind. You're the rain spout coursing ample. At least a week has elapsed even as we blink at one another. You are my recovery. You have a certain calite. I am, we are, when we conjugate ourselves into hums that become harmony hands as they rub and spin. Thank you. <laughs>